Funny and Farsi is a memoir about Farouzi Dumas's life growing up in Iran and then moving and settling in the United States. She shares stories about her family and friends and the experiences she has with the new culture, new language, and new environment. Farouzi's parents, Kazim and Nazara, play a large role in her life, and that is representative in the memoir as well. Her parents have had a huge impact on her life and continue to do so today. Farouzi shares funny memories with her family about extended family gatherings and also some somber memories of her assimilation into new culture. Funny and Farsi is a memoir that makes you think deeper about your own experiences with culture and how your life could be different if you had to enter into a whole new culture at such a young age. Funny and Farsi is written in short memories that seem to be written just as Farouzi remembers them. There is no chronological order to the memories that she shares, but she does share memories from all stages and ages of her life. Spanning from when she first moved to America when she was seven years old to now when she's married and has children, Farouzi allows the reader to engage in all of her memories from all of her lifetime. The author made this book very personal. She lets the reader into her life and doesn't hold anything back. She talks about many uncomfortable subjects that people are afraid to talk about. She lets the reader in on many personal events that she goes through on her journey in America. The author made this book very personal. She lets the reader into her life and doesn't hold anything back. She talks about many uncomfortable subjects that people are afraid to talk about. She lets the reader in on many personal events that she goes through on her journey in America. As mentioned before, Farouzi Dumas recalls her life as an Iranian immigrant in the United States. Her story shed light on the life of an immigrant and demonstrate the struggles and challenges of being an immigrant. Her childhood was cut short when she had to grow up and face the realities of the adult world through her parents. She dealt with alienation because of having an ethnic name, which she states always made her feel different. She said, quote, All of us immigrants knew that moving to America would be fraught with challenges, but none of us thought that our names would be such an obstacle. End quote. She has portrayed to the reader that her name has created an effect of being ostracized. She dealt with racism in a country that she viewed as her new home. When the Iranian Revolution came around, her family was hated. People assumed that because they were from Iran, they shared the same opinions as the ruler of Iran, who the rest of the world hated. During the Re Iranian Revolution, her father was no longer needed to work with his Iranian company. But he luckily found a job with an American firm. Quote, as he was settling into his new job, a group of Americans were taken hostage in the American embassy. Farouzi's father was laid off. The author is trying to make apparent the hate people, hate people felt towards the Iranian people as a whole. Moreover, her insight corresponds to the challenges many immigrants face today. In highlighting her family and her own personal struggles and challenges, Dumas's insight illustrates the challenges and diverse obstacles they had to face. It also corresponds to the challenges many immigrants face today. The family as a social unit plays a huge role in Iranians' lives. The series of family visits throughout Dumas's book, and especially the chapter, It's All Relatives, emphasizes this view. The story we are presented with in this chapter proves the differences between the Iranian and the American way of seeing family. Quote, Growing up in Iran, I was not surrounded by snow or tan people or relatives. Not surprisingly, my native language, Persian, contains more precise words for relatives than does the English language. End quote. The simple fact that there are more words for relatives in Persian, then, in English, gives the reader an idea of how significant the family is for Iranians. Another chapter in this novel that supports the importance of family theme is the wedding. At the wedding party, her French immigrant husband's family is represented by a very modest amount of relatives. Some of them are not showing up because of old battles and disagreements. In contrast, Farouzi's family is represented by 181 guests again underlines the importance of family in Iran, whereas the Western way of seeing family is less embracing and interdependent. 
The relationship to her family is also a central theme in the interview of Dumas in the end of the book. Here she expresses that her family approves her book, but she has had a lot of complaints from relatives who are not in the book. They assume that they were not important enough. We enjoyed Funny and Farsi a lot because it was truly funny and anyone could enjoy her stories that she shared. Although we felt that she was writing to share the immigrant story for other immigrants who experienced something similar, we also thought that even if you haven't experienced what she's gone through, you felt as though you could sympathize with her because her stories were so descriptive. We think that anyone could enjoy this memoir because even if you can't relate to the immigrant experience, there are so many other, op other topics that she talks about that can be related to. She talks about her parents, love, friendships, her children, and so much more that you can relate to. Her relatedness allows us to enjoy the novel even more.